Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell music on Wix as a beginner. Wix is a platform that you can go on to create websites to sell practically anything online. So the first thing you will need to do is go on to Wix.com. From there, you can sign up using your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to get started. Once you have entered your login information, you are going to be led to a dashboard just like this and you are going to tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to this page and on this page you can see that you can start your setup using the Wix AI but I would recommend that you tap on set up without AI if this is your first time creating a website. So once you have tapped on Setup without AI, you will be redirected to this page. And all we'll need to do now, we're going to simply type in music. So let's do that real quick. And you can see the different options that you have right here. And for instance, I'm going to be selecting music artists. Then I'll tap on next. Then from here, I'm going to simply choose a name for my website. So let's say the name for my website is Jason. Then I'm going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And on this page, you can choose the different features that you would like to have on your website. So for example, we'll be streaming videos and we'll also be selling music, obviously. Then you can see right here, bands in town. So you'll be able to list all of your upcoming live events. And if you plan on selling online courses or so on, you could select this also. And by scrolling down, if you'd like persons to be able to book you, you could tap on booking right here. And you can also select events if you plan on selling tickets. So I'll tap on that also. Then you can scroll down and if you'd like to add, for instance, your Instagram feed, you can do that too. Then you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After tapping on next, what I want you to do is tap on begin with a template. By tapping on begin with a template, you'll be redirected to this page. And on this page, you'll be able to choose from one of the stunning themes that Wix will provide you with. So you can see that they provide you with numerous options and all of these are completely free. I normally choose one of their best match, but you can scroll down and you can select whichever one you want. But let's say I were to select this one. All I would need to do is tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you'll be redirected to a new page and you're going to simply give it a few seconds while the AI organizes your new website. Once it is finished, I'll show you what to do next. So once on this page, you can choose if you would like the AI to write content for your site. So for example, I typed in, I am a dancehall artist who grew up in Jamaica and began doing music after listening to artists like Bounty Killer and Beanie Man. And then I tapped on create site text. So let's see what type of content it will come up with. And you can see right there, you can see an image right here, and you can also see the text. Now, if I would like to make any changes, all I would need to do is go over to the top left-hand corner. And for example, right where you see add elements, you could tap right there. And from there, if you would like to add text, you can do that. If you would like to add an image, button, anything you want, you'll find it in this section over on the left-hand corner. And also to view all of the pages on your website or to add a new page, all you will need to do is tap on the third icon from the top left hand corner. So you can see these are all of the pages. We are currently on the home page. If you would like to view the music page, this is the music page right here. You can also see that we have a tour page page right here. And you also have the book online page. So for instance, this is the music page. So let me tap on X right here. And if we should scroll down, you can have a look at it. 
So you can see right here, this is at the moment. You can see here some of the album covers and the songs that they have added thus far. I'll be showing you how to add your own songs soon. But if you'd like to change a background image or so on, all you'll need to do is hover over the particular section that you'd like to change. And then from there, you could tap on Quick Edit. Once you have tapped on Quick Edit, you're going to see a pop-up box on the right-hand column. From there, you can choose if you'd like to change the background or if you'd like to change the title or so on. Now, let's say we want to add our own music. All you'll need to do right here, you could scroll down and you could see right here, you can see the album section. So we can do this two ways. You can tap right here on the music, then you could tap on manage your music. After you have tapped on manage your music, you're going to see a pop-up window. Once you have tapped on manage your music, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you can choose to either create an album or EP, which will mean that you'll be able to set up up to 30 music tracks. Or if you'd only like to add a single, you can do that. Or if you'd like to add your playlist of over 500 songs, you can do that. But let's say I would like to create a single. I'm going to tap right where you see create single. After you have done that, you can scroll down and from here you can add an image. So you could add an album cover. So you could tap right there. So let's do that real quick. You can also add single name. And let's say I'm going to use a random thumbnail. So I'm going to use this thumbnail just for example sake. So you can see it is loaded. So you can see there. Then you'll tap on single name. And I'll name this single test. After you have done that, you can see single version. So whether it is a remix, remastered, or live, or bonus track, you can select any one of these options. Then you can tap where you see artist name, and you'll type in your name right there. Then you'll see genre. And you can select the genre of type of music that you had created. So you can see right here. Let's see if they have dancehall. And I'm going to select dancehall. Then from there, you could add your single description. And you'll scroll down and you'll be able to set your price and so on. So you can see single download options. And you can tap there. Whether it is a free download that you would like to offer. Or you would like to sell for a fixed price. Or you'd like to let fans name their price, you can do that. Or you want to require email for download. I'll tap on sell for fixed price. Then from there, you could tap where you see single price. And let's say I want to sell it for $5.99. And if you'd like to add a bonus item, you can do that also. And then you can simply tap on save and add tracks in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on save and add tracks, the track would have been added as you can see right here. And you can add more tracks if you want. And by going over to the left hand menu option, from here you can simply scroll down and I want you to set up your billing and payment. So you are going to tap on billing and payment. Then from there you could select payments. The reason why we are doing this is we want to offer our customers numerous payment options. So for instance, we're going to be adding PayPal. So you're going to tap on manage payment methods. After you have tapped on manage payment methods, you'll now be able to sign in to PayPal and other payment options, depending on the country that you're located in. So you could tap on connect right here to connect Tilopay. You can also tap on connect to connect your PayPal account. And if you'd like to offer other payment options, you could tap on see more payment options in the bottom left hand corner. And then from there, you'll be able to view the other payment options. Now, keep in mind that if you like access to other features that you don't see on Wix, you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on apps, 
and from there you could go into their app music their better yet their app store to download different apps that you can use you can also view your analytics to see how your website is performing by going over to the left hand menu option and selecting analytics and reports and by scrolling up if you would like to offer gift cards or loyalty points you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option and you can also set up your booking calendar and so on right here now once everything is to your liking all you'll need to do now we'll tap on the x in the top right hand corner and then you will now see that our album cover has been added as you can see right there so our album cover has been added and our track has been added right here and our viewers will be able to play a portion of the track by tapping on the play button and now all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner after you have done that you can tap on save and continue as Wix will be providing you with a free domain name once it has been saved all you will need to do now is tap on preview so you'll tap on preview in the top right hand corner then if it is to your liking you can tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live and that's it that's how site on wix or how to sell music on wix so as you can see right here so this is it and all they'll need to do is tap on play and they'll be able to play it and they will be able to also purchase your single as you can see buy single for $5.99 hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.